Hello everybody, I am Jeffrey Hauser, author of the Learn With series. Please check out my books. Today I'm going to talk about um, something that comes up commonly in Angular circles. How do we style a child component from a parent component? And there's actually two ways to do that. I'm going to do two videos. This video will show you how to create using SCSS style mixins, and I'll show you how to make that happen. First, I'm going to create a brand new brand new angular project style children from parent uh, no not strict no rooting for this I am going to do SCSS for angular styles and while this project builds what we're going to do we're going to create a angular project using ng material we're going to create a drop down um, a mat select basically and we're going to use um, a grouped dropdown. Uh, inside that grouped dropdown what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bold the groups. If you've never used a group dropdown in Angular or, um, or just even in the web I'll show you how and show you what that means when we get there. For now let's watch this package install. Okay, now we are going to style children from parent, and we're going to add Angular material. We're going to use teep purple and amber for no particular reason. Um, no, I'm not going to set up type topography styles for the purposes of this sample, and I'm not going to use browser animations. Okay. Okay. What I did off screen is I went ahead, created the Angular, new Angular project as a project in my IntelliJ workspace. Uh, I'm going to do an import. Um, I've opened up the styles and. Oops. Oh, not. Import. There we go. Um, I'm importing the pre-built Angular material styles uh, and the deep purple amber I said I was going to use. Don't forget the semicolon. I'm going to drop over to the app module and I'm going to import a couple app modules here from Matt. Okay. Select module. Do not want that select here. Uh, map option module and map form. These are just components from the ng material component library that we're going to use. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up the main component apps HTML and I'm going to do create one as is. Form field appearance equals oops, fill that select and instead of like in a normal app we would be dynamically generating this instead I'm gonna do just hard coded groups and options group one and we'll do option item 1.1 2 3 and then I'm just going to copy this group a couple times 2 2 2 2 ah, sorry to memory and then 3 3 3 so this creates um, a mat select wrapped in a form field and there's option groups. So let's go ahead and we'll do ng-serve to basically compile the app, load up our local development server, and then we'll see what a grouped select is, and I'll show you how we want to edit or modify it. Okay. Running first time. Let's. 
Reload this. Okay, perfect. Now we see we have our selectable options are listed, are grouped inside the drop down. This is all that is. And what we actually want to do, I'm going to drill in, we want to define this map opt group label which is a style embedded deep in the ng material framework and we want to add a font weight bold to it and you see the groups are now a little bolder than the actual items that we select and that's what we want to do we want to be able to apply that as a style from within our app component or our, our main component so we're going to add a style to our main component that's going to to add styles to one of its children. The approach I'm going to look at in this video is using CSS style mixins, or rather SCSS style mixins. So I'm going to pop over here to my styles to SCSS. I'm going to create a mixin. Now in a real app I would actually probably put these in a different file, but for the sake of simplicity for this example, I'm going to put them in here. So I'm creating a new mixin, mat opt group label bold, and mat opt group, and then bolded label mixin, mat op group label, and then font weight bold. So this is actually going to create a style that is like this. Uh, and we can look at that I'll t uh, sort of in the HTML. Um, but so it's going to select the mat op group that has a bolded label mixed in class on it and then find the mat op group label that's underneath it and apply the font weight bold to it. That's That's sort of how that is all going to work. But um, we want to include include that mix in here. So that's going to do that. I'm going to switch over to our app component HTML. I'm going to make a copy of our drop down and uh, mix in styled. That way we can review them. mix in. We can review them side by side. Boom. Boom. Uh, let's double check. Good. Our app seems to have compiled. Um, reload. So as is, is unchanged. The group is not styled or um, bolded in any way. But the mix in styled does indeed have our custom style. And here it is. This is an approach we've been using in one of the projects I'm working on. It's been working really well for us, where we take, we create the mixin, which creates a custom class that sort of embeds underneath the tag that we do have access to in order to style the children, which we do not have access to. Um, and I like this approach a lot better than the ng-deep approach, which I discussed in my previous video about this topic. So I hope this helps you.